And welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our stamp set Tiny Tag Sayings and our new die set Tiny Tags. So let's go ahead and check it out. Tiny Tag Sayings is a great stamp set with small little phrases perfect for tags and other tiny projects. We have Do Not Open Until December 25th, Happy Holidays, and Merry Wishes. And then we have a bunch that are great for just general. So we have a little something for you, just for you, a pretty scripty for you, with love enjoy, and then a nice typeset for you. Then we have thanks, and we have to, from, and love, and then a dotted line that can be placed after these phrases so that you can write someone's name in. And then we have some pre-built ones too. So we have this to and from, and then my favorite one with the to and the heart. We also have a solid heart and then some little curly cues that you could add to the bottoms of these phrases to just give them a little fancy touch. I just love that this set works for all year. Now here is a look at the adorable little tiny tags. I just love these and the stitching is so pretty. And then here's what it looks like when you stamp the phrases on them. And so I'm going to stamp in some fun colored ink and I just think it's great that you can use these all year round by switching up the different tiny tag sayings that you put on them. And then I love using lawn trimmings to go through them to match the ink. So here I'm going to add some aquamarine to my happy holidays for a nice little frosty touch. And then we can add some more twine to the other ones. And I just love getting out all my different colors. So here I've got my mistletoe with my red, green, and white. And then some candy corn lawn trimmings to go for Halloween. And then a little ombre lawn trimmings there that I just think would be pretty for year round or Valentine's Day too. Now you can dress up these little tags by cutting them out of colored cardstock and heat embossing on them too. So I'm just going to use my powder tool here to remove any static so that the heat embossing powder only sticks to where I've stamped. I'm going to stamp in some Versamark ink and then add some white heat embossing powder and heat set it. And I love how bold and pretty this looks. That white just pops on that red heart. I'm going to add some mistletoe lawn trimmings and then tie a bow right at the top just to give it kind of a fancy look and then it's ready to tie on a present and I love having a ton of these done so that I'm ready to add them whenever I need them. Next I'm going to be making an awesome tag by Elena and she said that I could use it for the video so thank you so much Elena. And here I am taking my stitched border dies and I'm going to use three of them and line them on the back of a tag your it die cut piece. So I'm going to take all these three dies, line them up, and then I'm going to actually use my post-it note tape to hold them all in place. That way they're nice and even when I'm going to die cut them on my tag. So I've got two pieces of tape there and then I can take that whole piece, it's almost like it's one die now and line it up on the bottom of my tag and I will then run that through my die cut machine and have this beautiful stitch edge that is just gorgeous. I love these stitch borders. They're so fun. Next I'm going to be ink blending with my Blue Jay ink. Now this is a brand new foam so I'm going to tap it on the ink and then tap it off and make sure that I really cover that whole foam nice and evenly with ink before I start putting it onto my cardstock. Now I'm ready to put it on my cardstock and I'm going to ink it up, start off the card, and then go onto it. And by doing that, it's going to have a much more even look so I don't end up with any splotches. So I'm starting off and then going on. And I'm going to slowly build up the color. And this is just such a fun way to get a really bold color that has just a little bit of variation since you're using that ink blending tool. So I'm just building it up over and over again until I get this nice dark kind of blue sky that I think is just going to be so pretty. Now that my tag is all done, I'm going to die cut it with my snowy backdrop. And I'm lining it up to make sure that the die doesn't cut the top tag part because I want to make sure I can still string string through that. Now I'm going to run it through my die cut machine and now I'm going to have all those cute stars and snowfalls cut out of it. Now here I'm using Bot Humbug, one of my favorite Christmas sets, and I've cut both the present and the sheep there out with my dies. And I'm just going to quickly color him in nice and simple because I want to be able to make a lot of these tags. So I'm going to add some little rosy cheeks there and then color in my present too. Just adding a little darkness around the white ribbon part and blending that out. Now next I'm going to make a little pencil line right above where that stitching is so that I know where to trim off my tag. Then I can line up that little pencil line in my trimmer, cut it off right there. And now I'll be able to layer that on top but the stitching will still show through along the bottom. 
Then I'm going to add a bunch of tape runner all around this die cut piece and line that up. And I love seeing that white peek through those die cut holes. I just think it's so pretty. Now to give it a finished touch, I'm taking my ink blending tool with the Blue Jay ink again and just inking all the edges to make them nice and even and just have a little darkness around the edges. I think it really gives it a nice finished look. Then I'm going to add my cute little sheep here with some foam tape. And next I'm going to get out my tiny tag and I'm going to cut that from some craft card stock and then stamp using my favorite one from the set which is the two and then the heart. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a little white detail with a white gel pen like Elena loves to do, which I think is so cool. I'm going to fill in that little heart on the tag and also give that some white pen detail too. And I think it just, just adds that little extra something. I love when Elena does it, so I have so much fun doing it just like her. Here I have some peppermint lawn trimming, which is going to go perfectly, and I'm going to run that through both tags. And so I love how this little tag could be great just on its own, but by adding it to this cute little scene, it really just is a showstopper. I think this would make a present look really, really awesome. So I'm just going to run that wine right through, and you're going to see how cute this is. And I just love the little tag added to the top of the tag your it tag. Next up, I have a look at all the tags we created today. So you can go really simple and just stamp in some colored ink with some cute twine. You could do some white heat embossing powder, kind of step it up a little notch, or you could do something really cute by adding a whole scene to go along with your tiny tag too. So I love that there's so many different levels of things that you can do with it. I also love that this set can work with other dies. So here is the string of lights light bulb and the tiny tag fits perfectly on it. So check out your other dies and see what tiny tags is gonna work with. And here I wanted to show you a few design team projects so you can see how cute these tags look with a wrapped up present or you could even put them together with your pillow boxes or cute goodie bags or tote bags too. You can combine them with stamped and die cut images like this awesome sprinkled with joy oven or you can even make the tags the star of the show on a card too. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I cannot wait to see your tiny tags projects. So make sure to share them with us. Have an amazing day. Bye.